I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand inverse of exponential functions with the help of an example. We will take a bacteria population which doubles every 6 hours as a real life situation. Now when you say bacteria population doubles every 6 hours we could write this in the form of an equation that population could be initial population and 2 exponential 6 hours is a doubling time so t over 6 so this particular equation gives us population of bacteria after t hours right so that is the equation which gives you population of bacteria after t hours now if you say that the initial population is 100 right and if you want to find the population after uh, 4 hours let us say then what we can do is we can just substitute these values and calculate so we can find the population after 4 hours as uh, uh, p equals to initial values 100 to 4 over 6 correct and then we can use calculator to calculate this value so it could be 100 within brackets 2 to the power of 4 divided by 6 oh we did not write power okay to the power of within brackets 4 divided by 6 is equal to so we get 158.7 so we could write this as 158 58. So it is one and a half times, correct? So it makes sense. It doubles after six hours, so it has not yet doubled. It's slightly less than double. Now, if you really want to find the population after, let us say, one day, let's say, population of uh, the bacteria starting with 100, uh, t is one day. So one day will really mean that we are talking about 24 hours, correct? So in that case, you could substitute the value in the given expression and calculate p as equal to 100 times 2 to the power of 24 divided by 6 and then again use the calculator and find the answer. So finding population with this expression is not difficult, right? So uh, to the power of let's say 24 divided by 6 and that gives us 1600 so we get a population which is 1600 so after a day the population of this bacteria is going to be 1600 right so so it is going to double four times in 24 hours so 100 becomes 200 then 400 800 1600 right so that is the result four times it doubles now my question is when will the population be 1 million? Now that's the question. Now from this equation which we have, how do you find the time when the population will be 1 million? Right? So that's the question. How will you do that? Well, one thing could be trial and error you could also do trial and error right so trial and error so what happens you just substitute different values of t and then check with calculator when you get a value which is close to 1 million the reason being that we have not yet learned anything about inverse of exponential function if we would have then we could have found the value of t using an equation right so in this video, we will introduce this inverse of exponential function, uh, which you are going to explore further, and we just call it logarithms, right? So we call it logarithms. Now these could be to the base 10 or to the base e. We'll write, I mean, explain those things further uh, in coming videos. But here, uh, we'll just introduce you to these logarithms. Now logarithm is inverse of exponential function and it really helps to solve that kind of a situation. That is to say, 
with the help of logarithms we can find the time when the population will be given number right so let's rearrange this equation what we have here is p equals to p0 2 to the power of t over 6 so if i rearrange i get p over p0 equals to 2 to the power of t over 6 the properties of logarithms say that if you take log of this what you really get is log of p over p0 equals to t over 6 times log of 2 and this equation can be rearranged to find t as equals to so we get log of p over p0 divided by log of 2 times 6 so that equation really gives you the value of time t when we want to know what population is going to be right so in this equation as you know we know p0 is 100 right so we have the values here we have p0 equals to 100 we want p to be 1 million right so that is 1000 1000 log 2 we can calculate with calculator it is to the base 2 so let's calculate this value so what we have here is log within bracket we'll write 100 that is the value oh i mean thousand thousand divided by 100 right so that becomes log of this we'll divide this expression by log of 2 which is log of 2 right let's find this out and then we'll multiply this by 6 times 6 so that gives you approximate value of 79.7 so it will take about 79.7 hours for the population to reach 1 million right so you could say approximately 80 hours right 80 hours as far as the number of days are concerned you can always write this as um, well 80 divided by 24 to write the answer in number of days right so and then convert it into days and hours correct so that is how you could always do it but it takes 80 hours for this variety of bacteria to grow from 100 to 1 million which has doubling time of six hours right so what we saw here is that logarithms are inverse of exponential functions which can be used to solve such exponential equations. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.